You know, people ask me all the time about pots and pans and which one should they buy, how much money should they pay for them, you know, just what kind of pots and pans is the best. Now, I'll tell you, there's only two reasons to have a pot and a pan. One is it holds things together and it keeps it on top of the fire. So if it doesn't have a hole in it, it starts out being a pretty good pot. Second thing is that the way it transfers the heat, which to me is a key to it, because it's not that it's good or bad, it's just knowing. If you know the way your pot transfers the heat, it'll tell tell you how to use that pot, how to watch it. If something starts getting overheated, you know the first place to go to in the pot so it don't burn. You know which spot to, to scrape first and to move things around. So uh, the way to find out about that, about how this pot and pan, our pan transfers heat, it's real simple. You put about this much water in it, and we've done that here. And then you turn a fire underneath it, and then you watch it. And you literally stand here and watch it. Start with hot water. The first place that you see uh, the, the water moving is going to be the weakest part of the pan. When you have a cheap pan or an inexpensive pan, it'll probably move first in spots. If you have a pan like this that's expensive, it'll move all together. Well, will start on the side, and it'll come to the middle. So understanding pots and pans is what's really important. And having a good pot and pan is good cooking, good eating, and good loving. We love you guys out there.